Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bits be tripping. We got some news. We're going to get into this here in a second when it comes to China. Now shutting down a few more things and we see Sparkpool making an announcement that they're shutting down. What's this mean? So let's peel this back. I got some data and numbers. That's what you guys watch me for. But before that, today's sponsor. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io. All right, I'm back. So what is going on here? So we knew that China was pulling some of the miners down when it came to Bitcoin. We saw that in the network hash rate. We saw a pretty large drop around 45% of global hash rate for Bitcoin drop off in late May. We saw the rescinding of the market after that. Now we're looking at some large mining pools that handle, uh, you know, close to 40%. And I'm going to show you guys some numbers here. 40% of the Ethereum network, roughly 280 terahash. At least that's going to Chinese pools. Now those, some of that data could be coming from, you know, Southeast Asia area and into a Chinese pool. However, we're going to see. Sparkpool is the first one that's coming out there and saying on Twitter, we'll pull that up here that they are shutting down by September 30th. We're already seeing a pretty large amount come off. You went from about 145 terahash down to 139. That's about five terahash of mining hash power that's came off of it. Some of it has filtered in. The top peak was around 723 terahash for the entire Ethereum network over the last few days, and it's down to 711 terahash. So. There is power, you know, some of these uh, rigs are being powered off, obviously. The question remains, will the rest of China's cash rate come offline like it did with Bitcoin now for Ethereum mining? And is that 280 terahash going to come offline and then get shipped? Is there going to be a surge of GPUs on the market? Is there going to be a surge of Ethereum miners ASIC miners available on the market here soon. And we'll see the, you know, a real big pullback. What I've done today for you guys is look at some numbers. We're going to switch over to that real quick and bring that up. All right, guys, now that we've transitioned this, what this is, is this is a snapshot of the Ethereum network at a pool level. So this is from mining pool stats is the data on the left. I've conditioned it over to Excel for we can look at it. And what you're seeing is that column B shows, you know, if, is this a world um, based pool, which allows multiple people all over the world to go to pools and they have like Asia connections, European connections and US North America connections. So you can see that some of this that is within inland China, that is a Chinese related pool are tagged as such too. So not to be confused that, you know, there might be some Chinese miners mining on Ethereum or ethermine.org that could be a thing, but showing the ones that are dedicated to China, Sparkpool being the number two right now, shutting down 138 terahash coming off that network. So what I've done is done a sum of the different tagging and B to show you guys kind of a worldview Right now with Ethereum hash rate showing this big orange area being the mining hash bar that's coming out of China when it comes to related to Ethereum. So if that comes off, we're looking at a direct 40% decrease of hash rate for probably a short period of time because a lot of that hardware will get re repositioned like we saw with Bitcoin. There's no reason to not think that that's going to occur. I would assume a lot of those things were getting packaged up. Some of the hash rate that's already came off. Is probably already getting packaged up and sent over to Taiwan and a few of the other areas. That way they're not hit with a 25% tariff, which is what some what has been happening out of ports out of China to America. So it's going to go to more than likely a proxy to save everybody a little bit of capital and be competitive. 
uh, on the world stage and market on reselling. So if we look at 40% coming off, I took a, a pretty standard eight card rig, or actually it was a six card rig at 60 mega hash each. So we're looking at something like a 3070 or a, you know, 6,800, you know, optimally configured running 60 mega hash each six card rig, a 360 mega hash. That's where this is with the difficulty adjustment down dropping to about 430 terahash worldwide. This is what your, your base profitabilities would end up going to. You're looking at close to, you know, 1100 bucks a month. So you're looking at 0.4 of an ETH. So your rewards going up if this happens. So we're looking at the 30th. I'm going to be watching it close, but you're looking at a pretty large, significant amount of Ethereum mining that may come off the network for a temporary phase. So if you've been looking for some cheap GPUs, you might have an opportunity to buy some. If this stuff can actually hit to where people can buy um, this hardware that's being turned off in China. So just a quick snapshot of the network. I'm going to make this available below for you guys can see the numbers and do some of the math yourself. You can go in to what's to mind calculator and you can update the difficulty. Now this is all calculated based on the difficulty being adjusted. That difficulty can be derived by going to Ethermine. That difficulty can be that difficulty can be derived by going to etherscan.io and you can go into the charting area up here under resources charts and then you can scroll down and you'll see the network difficulty chart and you can pick a day to figure out well you know where in the stack it was around march 12th it was about 430 so let's see here, March 12th right here, as you guys can see on the screen here, or, you know, it's anywhere from 54. So it was between 54 and 52. So 5.42 is an adjustment to the difficulty. And that will then calculate appropriately if you had a, a pullback in the market and you get some updated figures there to understand the hash rate. So that's all there is to it, guys to start calculating some of your some of the the hash rate and what your possible profitabilities have moved to this is a kind of a fluid situation but it will absolutely have an effect on the yields that you receive so if price stays flat remember if people turn off mining rigs you actually get a bump in the yield that you will be getting because less people are mining so again we're went from 732 down to 711 Terra hash so far on the network, monitor it each day, and that is bringing it to you guys. So click like and subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. We have an uh, update to the Ethereum mining model that now I'm pausing because this situation is going to make some adjustments to it. We're going to put in a few of these different forecasts in that, and then that video will be coming out by Thursday this week. So we'll have kind of a forecast all the way up until the end of the year in that mining model, which should get us to where the earliest time that Ethereum folks could merge the two, the Ethereum 2.0 and proof of stake. So I'm trying to make sure the model is updated for you guys, for you guys have some expectations set. We will put these scenarios in there now that we have China possibly shutting down most of their mining pools and what happens to this, you know, are we going to get a dip in the difficulty or not. So like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.